if you're going through a spiritual awakening, if you call yourself a chosen one, a spiritual warrior, or somebody who's going through a Kundalini awakening, and you've heard of astral travel, you've heard of astral projection, and you've also heard of psychic attacks and getting attacked by negative entities. You've also heard of vegetarianism, you've also heard of veganism, and you've also heard about how diet can influence wherever you are on the continuum of consciousness. But folks, this isn't about let's be vegan or let's be vegetarian or let's eat whatever it is that we want. It depends on where you are. Now, for those of us who have gone vegan or gone vegetarian and you were predominantly on a diet that had a bit of everything, it was a mix of non-veg and vegetarian food. Now, if you're going through meditation and you want to go deeper and deeper and access all of these states, astral, especially your astral state, stop eating all the dense foods, stop eating all the heavy foods and you'll access all the other higher states. But guess what? If you're accessing all of those higher states and you have not sorted out your lower states, you've not sorted out whether it is your sexuality, your appetite, your desires, your power to so all of the lower chakras if they are not you've not come to terms with your shadows you don't know what your shadows are you don't know what your dark side is right not even just about the dark side of this life but everywhere if you're still looking at the others and you if you've gone into this because of escapism because you can you can go into spirituality or want to awaken the rest of you because you want to escape you don't know how to cope with the lower chakras you don't know how to cope with patala loka so with the loka that is beneath the earth and so what do you want to do you want to just keep getting higher and higher and higher you want to go traveling astrally now guess what if you've not sorted out the lower chakras or the lower field of consciousness inside of you then this is where on the astral plane you're opening yourself up to entities to egregorious energy you're opening yourself up to everything out there because what happens when there's nothing to weigh you back down yeah and you're just being pulled up so you're going higher and higher so you're sort of ungrounded you know in this whole Dulali land and in that land because you don't have anything to anchor you back you don't have anything to hold you back right you can't bring yourself back this is where you'll find people who've gone through a spiritual awakening even a kundalini awakening you'll hear of certain misfeasances by spiritual teachers you'll hear of certain you know abhorrible acts done all of a sudden and you'll hear of you know lots of other things happening yet these are people who've really accessed higher states of consciousness but the lower chakras will not have been worked out and because of that you can be taken over as well by entities right because you've got nothing to ground you remember if you're going to go through this spiritual awakening and really get yourself together there's no rush take your time but get through it as opposed to get into these other states have your kundalini sitting in your crown or in your third eye you know activate your pineal gland and really have that you know you can activate your pineal gland and still not be fully balanced or aligned in your lower chakras you've got to have everything in alignment you don't have to deny yourself anything you can make choices that you want but not choices because you think they're going to take you away from spirituality no nothing can take you away from your very nature but yourself by us imposing conditions about how things ought to be what it means to be spiritual what it means to be of higher consciousness or higher vibration again that's not you know you're again putting a condition get yourself together there is no high and no low it is all as is do not deny yourself your lower chakras just because they happen to be lower chakras 
does not make them any less valid than the higher chakras because you see our true awakening is as is above so is below you will have the triangle the upper triangle the lower triangle meeting in the center it is still an apex at both ends and there are both still going to be very very integral parts of your ascension you can call it of your just being who you are in this human embodied form the desire to manifest the desire to explore it's innate it's in us except we won't desire it once we are sorted our lower chakras and our survival issues have gone and we know that we're not here just to get by just to survive because our survival is guaranteed you're here to unfold your experience you're here to unfold you unwrap you as you would you know as a present that you've just received from somebody that is your lover you are your lover you are it unravel yourself unpack yourself and see what a beautiful being you are